Hi, this is David Allen Miller. I'm here with Carlos Bandera, who is the composer of the new piece on week number two of our Hot with Mustard, Dogs of Desire new commissioning series. So I'm so happy, Carlos, to have you with us and to have this beautiful piece of yours. Thank you so much for it. Yeah, I know. Thank you, David. Yeah, this is like really exciting to be a part of this project. Yeah, tell us, if you would, a little bit about the piece. It's based on, or it uses as its text, a beautiful poem, which I gather is from 1922 by an American poet I hadn't known about named Genevieve Taggart. How did you find her, or, or what should we know about her? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I just honestly found her on one of these, like, online databases of, of poems and stuff, but I just... You know, uh, I was just sort of like scrolling through all these different poems and stuff, and this one really, I don't know, it, like jumped out at me because it felt so relevant to my experience of this summer, and and I loved the kind of imagery. It's like I thought it was like super provocative, and this this you know like describing night and day and all these senses. That, yeah, I don't know. I thought it was really beautiful. It's basically about about dusk. I mean, it's about the end of day. Is that what it is? Yeah, I mean, I think the idea is that uh, you know she she describes how night comes and like takes daytime from the world in order and like kind of forces the world to rest and you know gives it time to reflect on you know what's been happening and and i don't know i just uh, i mean on a very like i don't know a very surface level kind of way i i really that really resonates with me because like yeah i also love like composing at night i love like working at night when it feels like kind of everything's like empty but but also with this summer i mean you know the, this you know this piece. Yeah, I started writing it pretty soon into the, like the shutdowns, and and soon into the shutdowns, I also found out uh, I got into Northwestern. So I was like reminiscing a lot and and thinking about you know the, my future and then where I was going to be going and I know how I got to this point and all these things. So it's been like a very contemplative summer for me, and I thought this poem. I don't know, it really reflected that, or, you know, I don't know, it really resonated with it. Have you been living in the Baltimore area? Is that where you've been most recently? Yeah, yeah, so I, I finished my master's in 2017, but I've still been hanging out in Baltimore and, and working on commissions. And, yeah, it's a great city, yeah, I, mean, I love it. Just, you're just fresh off the boat in Chicago. <laughs> yeah. It's not a boat situation, fresh yeah. out of your car. You yeah, know, this is... Uh, the last few days, or...? Yeah, this is this is my, my second full day here. I am, I mean... I, you know, I, I would turn the camera around, but you'd just see empty rooms. It's just like, you know, we have like mattress on the floor and that's that's about all I got right now. Well, it's great. You have a place to sleep. Uh, yeah, 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 I'll take it, yeah. But just tell me just a little bit more about, so you have this poem that's very much about the night or the, the end of day or mm -hmm. looking back at the day. Um, how do you turn that into music? Or what, what were you trying to do musically? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, what should we know as listeners about the piece uh, compositionally? Yeah, I mean, I think, like, for for me, the, the most important thing was just to kind of capture the overall atmosphere that, that is found in the poem, where it's just this sort of, you know, like, this darkness, and not, like, darkness in, like, you know, like, evil kind of thing, but just the, this sort of contemplative, the stillness and and the tranquility of it, and, I don't know, so I wanted to capture that. So, I you know, there, I don't think that there's anything in the piece that is, like, specifically, like, oh, here's that line, you know, there's this beautiful line, that this, uh, where she says, you know, the silent hive is echoing the bees. And I thought that was, like, so beautiful. I don't know if there's anything necessarily in the piece that is, like, you know, those, those are the bees right there. You know, they're in the strings now, you know. But I, I think it's this overall atmosphere of, of thinking about, you know, this, this weird time that we're in. And, 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 I mean, I think, I mean, maybe even more so, it's just a reflection of my experience. And it's just, like, I don't know, I thought it was an honest uh, kind of, I don't know, like screenshot of, of what my summer felt like and, and, and you know my experience of this. It's a particularly beautiful sounding piece. I, I know you, you studied mainly with Kevin Putz, mm -hmm. who's one of the main teachers there at Peabody, and, and is a wonderful, somewhat, I guess you'd say, neo romantic composer. And has that experience kind of informed your sound world? Is that where it comes from? Or? Yeah, well, I mean, I think that. You know, I've always been like a huge sucker for, you know, uh, uh, tonality and, and even music of the past or whatever. But this, this piece, I think actually, you know, because this is the first time I've written for drum set since I was in like a really, really rough uh, rock band in high school or whatever. So it, I don't know. It, it's like I felt like this was this kind of uh, like mix of, of the kind of things I've been doing with like my classical pieces and you know and and mixed in with some of the influence from more of like the 
popular music, you know, or some like the rock kind of music that I like, like post rock and this sort of like also this atmospheric kind of thing. So yeah, I don't know, this piece felt very much like just a culmination of all these like very, very disparate kind of interests that I have. Well, it's a beautiful thing and we really enjoyed cre ha having you created for us and performing it and we're, uh, we hope everybody enjoys it. So thank you so much for talking about it and great good luck in the new <laughs> exciting adventure there at Northwestern. Uh, yeah, thank you. We're going to have a great time and stay well, stay safe. Yeah. Good luck too. setting up the house. I'm sure the apartment's going to look beautiful in a matter of days. Yeah, I, I hope so, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, good luck and have fun. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks. All right, bye-bye. All right.